What is up you guys? Welcome back to another PCT vlog. It's a rainy Wednesday today. I hope you guys are being safe. I hope you guys are staying dry. Apparently there's a, a storm in Florida. I guess it started in South Florida and now it's heading to North. I just wanted to vlog today. I just wanted to show you guys another PCT vlog because a lot of people are really, really loving the PCT vlogs that I've been doing. I wanted to kind of continue that and show you guys what goes on in the life of a dialysis technician. I don't have a mask on yet because I opened today. The people who check our temperature and gives the mask comes at five o'clock and openers usually get here at 4.30 but nobody's here yet i'm the only one here let's go check if the water is almost filled up almost there almost there so the openers usually do the water checks check for chlorine you make the bicarb and you do the phoenix meter the water and the bleach concentrate and yeah just make sure everything is um set up <laughs> happy friday <laughs> <laughs> now this is a video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> Happy Friday the 13th. It is Friday the 13th. Cool. Are you ready? Are you ready for today? Um, oh I'm God. always ready. You're always ready. We're I'm always ready. Are you ready, Bree? <laughs> no, I'm not ready. <laughs> Sometimes when we celebrate something, they usually have lunch provided for everybody, which we're all so grateful for. I love my team. We're like family here. They usually <laughs> make sure we're well fed and, you know, some desserts to get us through the day and get us moving. The mask can give them a little bit of face for a second. All right, five, four, three, two. <laughs> I love you, Spencer. I love you, too. <laughs> I love our job. <laughs> this job is love for everybody. What do you think is the hard part about being here? You have to, first thing is, of course, you have Be to know. Early. You have to wake up early. You have to get up some three, you sometimes to, four. You have to go to bed early, too, because like, yeah. and because you never really know, like, Sometimes I'm supposed to only be here until 10 a.m. But if somebody calls out, then I have to be here till like five, sometimes or six. And so it's better to just get like a full night's rest because yes. you don't really know what the next day is gonna take. And mm -hmm. if you're the type of person that doesn't like to fill in for people, this is not your job because no. you know the patients really depend on us, but also the staff depends on us. So yes. anytime we're sick, we need to be able to take those days to be sick. Yeah, and every day is different. Um, some days might be good some days might not be good um, <laughs> but we're it's here true. you know we're a team you know you have teammates and we all kind of have we, like bad days yeah. good days and interchange and like yeah. one day you might have like a really bad day and then you'll have like a lot of help in your pod yeah. or something like that some days you'll have a bad day and you'll look around and everybody's having a bad day so you don't have help in your sometimes pod. when you come in the morning you just want to <laughs> leave right away <laughs> but it's not always like that it's, it's not nice. it's not some days you're like so happy. I mean, I mean, we we try to always be happy, you know. Yeah. We, um, but I think we we have like a pretty happy staff though. Because like, you know. whatever your attitude in the morning kind of like affects the whole the whole day in the whole day, you know, rest, like yeah. the rest of the day. Yeah. It's um. Because it's about the attitude that you have when you have to do certain tasks. Because like none of this is fun. Nobody wants to work, <laughs> but you know. Like, do, yeah. you, do you care about taking care of people? If you love helping people, if you love giving impact in their life, mm -hmm. and this is definitely for you. Like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. We literally, you know, save lives every day. Every like, single day. It's like, yeah. it's really cool too. Like, yeah. in the, sometimes you don't always have patients that like appreciate you, but then when you do have the ones that appreciate you, like they love you so much yes. and they like, they really ride for you. And they become your family because they really you, do. Do you see them like three times a week, you know, yeah. like. I honestly see them more than I see my family, especially now during COVID. I'm seeing you guys a lot more than so I'm seeing much. like my own So family. much, so much. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right in here. Yes, yeah. ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> really yes. I'm very excited because oh. I have so much laundry. <laughs> yeah, and also like when you when you work 
like more than three days it's so you don't want to do anything in between Oof. when you get you home do when you get home like oh my god you don't want to do anything like we were just talking about this earlier oh my god yeah the first it's thing like, you want to do is like take a shower take a shower <laughs> and then down. like i don't know about lay down for me i don't want to lay down because yeah. if i lay down i'm definitely falling asleep yeah. but i do want to sit that ass down sit so and i want to relax sit down, you know, you know? Yeah. <laughs> usually though it doesn't happen like that i get in the door i rush to the bathroom mm -hmm. and my kid wants to hug me I'm like, no, nope, you can't hug me, I'm sorry. I'm gross. I'm gross <laughs> I'm right gross. now. <laughs> and then another thing that like I noticed is that well everybody's different obviously, but yeah. I don't really watch television. You don't? I mm -mm. that's me. I always watch movies and I'm always which is on, bad, you know? Like <laughs> I'm always on YouTube. <laughs> me too, YouTube. I'm yeah. always on like YouTube or I'm listening to music usually. Like I have a like, Bluetooth speakers okay. everywhere and then also I make music so sometimes I'm sitting down making Guys. music after work. I'm gonna link his YouTube channel down below. Oh. <laughs> and this oh my god he oh. can sing okay he had you guys i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna link his youtube channel and you guys can listen to his music bomb okay bomb. <laughs> follow me on instagram follow bomb. him i'm gonna link all his social media in the description i'm totally joking like no, I, well, no okay no, so I'm gonna if you follow it. me on instagram i want y'all to know yeah. i'm a huge hippie so y'all are gonna be very <laughs> Y'all are gonna be tired of my Instagram because it's gonna be like nothing but positive quotes and like telling Every, you to believe that's in yourself. What, that's what we want right now, okay? <laughs> that's what the world needs right now. It's yeah. true, that is so. the world needs. <laughs> Positivity. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, look at my case. That's so pretty. So cute. <laughs> this, is, this is his Instagram. Make sure you guys follow him. Sorry, let's try to get the whole the name. Wait. Is it, it's so glare. It's That's not, such a glare. But anyway. But whatever. So you, guys, you can follow my yes. Instagram. His song. Oh my god. You guys. It's going to get stuck in your head. <laughs> I promise you. It's going to get stuck in your head. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys yes. listen to that and let me know. Actually, you know what? Um, Let's see. When you get to this part of the video and you actually go download my song, send a screenshot to Kay. Yes. Um, and I might, I might be able to work up something a little special. And also... Yeah, you can send it to my Instagram and then we'll yeah, work something out. Yeah, send a screenshot. Out. And um, you can DM me too because I usually follow people back. Yes. I'm not like me too. weird or me petty. Too. I um, met so many new friends on YouTube that followed me on Instagram, yeah. you guys. So, yeah. I think the only way I don't follow people back is if like, if I go to your page and it looks like you sell something, like, <laughs> inappropriate. <laughs> That's the only time I won't follow you back because I don't know what that's about and I don't no, want to be connected no. to it. So <laughs> as long as you have like a regular account. <laughs> yes. So I'm here on my break right now and usually after the first shift we go and do our chores like our assignments and stuff. And that's what I was doing earlier. I was doing the, the fistula or graft packs. And after that everybody takes turns on taking breaks and we get we usually get 30 minute breaks. I wish it was longer than that, but man, that's why I always bring my food so I don't have to go out and get food because 30 minutes is not enough. Like if you have to go somewhere and get food, it's like going there and waiting for your food and going back is already like 30 minutes and we they don't play about taking long breaks over here. So sometimes it's smarter to just bring your food or prepare your food at the night before just so you don't have to worry about like buying food and it also saves you money when you bring food at work because it adds up if you keep buying food like for say every time you work you buy food it's it, it's a bill like you know i mean i'm all about saving money nowadays you know oh by the way this is brianna she is one of our nurses one of the coolest oh my god coolest nurses ever oh, <laughs> but i was telling you know we were talking about like not everybody not everybody is for dialysis yes. definitely not okay that's true <laughs> we always see people come and go we we always do we always see people like like they don't some people don't even finish training like Bree, she's been in the field she's been in the game for a long time okay like <laughs> brianna is her Vascular, vascular access. Vascular mm -hmm. access. <laughs> yeah, so I coordinate all of the dialysis vascular access um, events and referrals that need to be placed and just monitor the vascular access and make sure everybody's yeah. doing okay. 
um, so charting, she, everything. Charting, yeah. yeah. She's really good at sticking. Okay. <laughs> what are the stuff that you mm -hmm. makes you happy? Like being like working in dialysis. Like yeah. So I think it's it's because you can see such immediate yes. results. Like someone yeah. can come in, they can't breathe, they feel miserable. Yeah. You get get them on the machine, get those waste products out of their blood, mm -hmm. get that extra fluid off of them, and then they leave feeling good. And I, I love, love that. that. I love yeah, that. Yeah, I love Man, that. Like we just had a, a patient that had a transplant. Oh my god, mm -hmm. I'm so happy for those um, patients. Yeah. Some some patients, when they get a transplant, like it doesn't always work out good. Like sometimes there's so many complications, and or it's it'll just, reject. Yeah, the yeah. body rejects the kidney yeah. or. Mm -hmm. It's just so many things, and I love I love it here because I mean, it's repetitive, but yeah, you get so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. how you know. That's how you learn. Um, hey, oh, hey, is there a start? Oh, <laughs> can I help you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Is this Crystal? What's up, girl? <laughs> hey guys, so it's lunchtime, but I want to eat lunch in my car because I don't know I just want to stay in my car today I got this new it's a lunch bag but I'm using it as like a purse like a purse for work because I'm show you guys nothing special whatsoever um this is this is I know it's kind of big you know but it's a it's a lunch bag and what I like about this is you can charge your phone but you need like a portable charger so I have this USB thing right here and then I'm gonna put it here but you, you need a portable charger in here and then you can plug your phone and then you can put your phone right here so whenever you're out and about or something you can just plug your phone there and another thing so it has a lot of pockets here what got me into getting this is this on the bottom here there is a compartment this is the one that got me sold on this so you can open it i don't know if you can yeah open it like that and then you can put your food there so it's like all in one you know so you can put like some more stuff in here you can put some more stuff in there like i can't i don't want to hold on i put just anything here it has a lot of pockets um i just have like emergency it's my mirror mirror i love this this is um kind of like a <laughs> it lights up but um yeah so that i got that there and i have some stuff there some emergency i got like um my hand sanitizer but what really got me is this so you can put anything there you can literally all in one i hate bringing my purse or my my work bag and then another lunch bag i'm just like i just want to bring just one thing and that's it you know because as you guys know i always bring my food when i can you know i got shrimp today oh my god so it's basically macaroni soup with hold on it's not in focus with some vegetables some broccoli and all that stuff and it's actually really good for you it's like it's kind of like a comfort food so this is what i have for lunch yes mm. your girl is hungry af I have to hurry and eat because I don't want to spend over 30 minutes. It's my drink. I don't know why I always do this whenever I, I buy a can. Whenever I have a, a can of um, any drink, I always do this. I've been doing this for a long time. I think I watched something and then I don't want to say it, but <laughs> it made me just want to like wipe it all the time before I open the can. But you guys. You guys should do it too, I think. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my god. That first gulp. So good. Alright guys, so here we are in front of the machine. I have my nurse over here. We're going to be showing you guys 
one way of setting up a machine and this is not a tutorial whatsoever but we just want to show you guys a way of setting up a machine and I just want to tell you guys that everybody from every dialysis company there's like a lot of ways how to set up a machine um, there's not only like one way it also depends on where you got trained who trained you what company you're from you also have to think that there's a there's some people that have been working in dialysis for 10 15 20 years and you have to think they they had a certain way of setting up a machine back in the day versus now you know everything changes if you work in dialysis there's so many changes that they do throughout the years so as long as you prime the machine properly you you know there's no air bubbles or whatsoever there's you know machine is tested in the end no fail on the test and recirculated then it's all good you know everybody does the machine differently and yeah that's as long as you do it, you know, right. And, you know, no mistakes or anything. Everybody just does things differently. You know, like I was trained differently. Everybody was trained differently. And as long as you set up the machine and, you know, everything's tested completely and that's all good. So I don't want to <laughs> hear some people, um, there might be people in the comments like, oh that's not how you set up a machine you know that's not the right way and all that stuff but um <laughs> i just want to tell you guys that now while you know i'm here um that yeah everybody just does things differently and you know it's not wrong as long as you just test the machine and do it right you know but yeah this is how you normally set up a machine you know this is everybody's different like I said um, you just prime the lines and the dialyzer um, everything has you know the whole machine um, lines and dialyzer have to be primed properly and yeah no air bubbles or anything um, just prime it it usually takes a little bit normally priming takes like five minutes or less um, it depends on the way the machine is set up, but yeah, it usually takes like around five minutes. We usually put the blood flow rate to 100 or, you know, 150, 100 to 150. And then you wait for it to get primed all the way. And then once it's fully primed, then you will, it usually stops like it in the middle i'm not sure what happens but um when it's priming like right now it's priming and a little bit later it, it will kind of stop in the middle but i don't know why but <laughs> it's it just it just happens i don't know um i don't know if it happens to like older machines or newer machines i'm not sure but you can see that she will press prime again because it stopped <laughs> so for for you to be able to prime it all the way you have to press it again and eventually it'll get primed all the way so once it's fully done then you can clamp the lines and stuff and connect them to each other and that's it All right, so once you connect both of the lines to each other and unclamp them, you will fill up the venous chamber so there will be no air in the line. And after that, you will just test the machine and that's it. The machine is ready to be tested and that's it, you guys. So this is what it looks like when the machine is testing and when it's done, it's ready to go. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this little clip of setting up the machine and bye guys.
Hey guys, what's up? I just got in my car. I just wanted to show you guys this really cool thing under my mask but before I drive and go home. Okay, so here it is. This is, um, I don't know what this is called, but this is it right here. So I think it's so cool because this thing right here, it's supposed to like hook on your mask like that. Like, it's supposed to hook on those, like, you know, you see those lines, like, inside the mask. Oh my god, my makeup. But, um, this is supposed to help us, or anybody that has a hard time breathing under the mask. Because, you know, nowadays it's, like, all up in our mouth, and, like, when we breathe in, breathe out, it's, like, it, the mask gets, like, in your mouth and stuff. And it's kind of hard to breathe sometimes, you know? Especially when you have to wear it, like so long like 12 13 14 hours a day um and it's still it's still pretty secure in there um it still protects you um it's also pretty good for us girls that you know still wears makeup under the mask um <laughs> don't judge me okay don't judge me i still wear makeup i'm i'm one of those people that still wear makeup under the mask because I don't care okay I still want to look cute under the mask <laughs> whatever I don't care okay but it also helps us like us girls that tend to break out around this area that we wear a mask you know how we've been wearing a mask almost a year now like oh my god it's February right now and oh my goodness it's crazy it's crazy how long we've been in the pandemic oh my god this is so cool I feel like this is so cool I'm gonna link this in the description you guys can get this from Amazon but this is such a cool idea I think it looks bulky but I don't know you see how it's pretty secure fits perfectly on like right here whoever invented this oh my god so that's right there and then I mean if I didn't tell you you wouldn't know you know so you can pretty much secure the nose right here. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this one before I go. So that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's PCT vlog. Thank you so much for everybody that's been watching. I hope you guys learned something new, enjoyed every single minute of it. I actually enjoy doing this type of content for you guys. And I'm really going to try to make sure to be more consistent with it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss more of the pct vlogs in the future and if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next video bye